Hello, everybody, and welcome to Formula Worldwide Leagues Presents Friday Night Lights. I am your affable host, Donut Puncher 272 joining you live, as always, late on a Friday night here on the East Coast. And we are back. Better than ever. We are in Singapore, continuing our Asian leg of the Season X calendar. I think we can all agree that Singapore is probably one of the worst tracks on the grid. I don't know why we're here. I think it probably has something to do with some sort of payola scandal between the FIA and the Singaporean authorities. Of course, the FIA represented by Jim Cab. Perhaps some investigating to be done there, but for now, we race on. Let's go ahead and go get to our co-commentator for this evening so we can talk about this hot new driver, Nick Cage, at the front of the field, massive. What say you about this interloper getting pulled by a somewhat unbelievable three and a half tenths? Nick Cage, is that what we're going to call him? Well, I mean, that's just what comes to mind with the NIK, you know. But we can we can go with anything you want to. If you have something, we can call him Nickelodeon. We can call him whatever you want. Yeah, let's, let's not give him Nick Cage. That's too cool. That is That is kind of high praise. Nick Arrow sounds like the 80s sitcom superhero. It sounds kind of like a porn name to me, actually. You know what I was thinking the other day, Massive? While we're here talking about porn names, I was thinking about Jay Glazer. Mm -hmm. That's a fantastic porn name, isn't it? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, if, if you found out that Jay Glazer was actually in, like some what you know some like homoerotic porno on the internet that wouldn't surprise you would it we need to talk about the race massive so this again this interloper nick arrow or nickelodeon we'll call him for now beating our three-time race winner this season double our lawrence by three and a half ten sketchable hanging on for dear life right behind him and so as nxr gifted our previous champion not well not last year but you know the season before whatever you know what i'm talking about so massive what do you think is going to happen here before we get ready to go racing well, uh, Scarther starting out in 16. I'm predicting at least a sixth position lead in the turn one. Uh, we've got Moldy Dragon who had a quality man starts at the very back. But, you know, that's where my cameras are. You asked me what I thought <laughs> was going to happen. Well, here we go. Five lights on. Five lights off. LFG. Double R Lawrence trying to get a good start, and he does get a good start. He sends it down the inside of Nickelodeon. We have a battle for the lead going into turn one. It looks like Double R Lawrence is on the inside and has the advantage right now as we speak. Nickelodeon gets a little sideways coming off that curb, and now he has the inside. He has the advantage going down into the what will be the DRS straight. Nickelodeon gets a little wobbly there coming out of, I have no idea what turn that is. We'll find out later on in the race, but Sketchable now wants a piece of this action. Sketchable looking down the inside of Nickelodeon. Sketchable down the inside of Nickelodeon for the lead of the race, and now Double R Lawrence fighting back around the outside Ooh. of Nickelodeon. My goodness me, can we get... Oh, Nickelodeon is all over the place. He is wobbling badly right now. He did not get his tires up to temperature, apparently, on that formation lap, giving Sketchable the chance to stretch his legs. So Nickelodeon in second place. Now Double R Lawrence passing NXR gifted, at least that's what it says on my television screen. Double R Lawrence down into third place. Starting from second, massive. Well, that was a tremendous amount of action between our top three, top four drivers. That was, boy, oh boy, perhaps a, a sign of things to come. Oh, shit. Sorry. Uh-oh, massive making noises. What's happening? Just saw three on the exit of the hairpin, but they made it out safely, so no worries, no worries. <laughs> So as ever, got Massive okay. is going to be taking a look at the back of the field for us. Massive, why don't you uh, let everybody know out there what to look out for. The scent from the Schmerz on uh, Penny Packer decides better of it and backs out. Everybody super well behaved on lap one, at least from, from my view. Uh, no one spun out. I don't see any wings, any wangs on the side of the road. all I got. Scarthers has moved up two positions. Things are good. Things are good with Scarthers right now. You're right. Where can we uh, where can we catch Scarthers 
on that alternative feed. If the Sky Sports viewers out there hit the red button, what's the address they, they need to go to? Let me throw it at you from the net. Twitch.tv slash Massive Noogies. That's N-O-O. G-I-E-S. Not a Z. I know you kids like to throw Z's in there. No Z's, just an S. I appreciate you really spelling it out for everyone. That is helpful. Yeah. For those of us who wear the pointy cap. Not not like a, a clan hat. Like I, I meant like the dunce cap, of course. Oh, we yeah, need to yeah. bring those back in schools, you know? I remember as a kid watching cartoons and seeing that, and I didn't know, I didn't know what it was. I know. But I like the idea. I like the concept, you know? Really letting everybody in class know, hey, this is the dumbest kid. Because yeah. he has to wear this hat that... <laughs> <laughs> that means he's the dumbest kid. It was it was a nice way in the, the 60s, I guess, of saying you were a dumbass. Oh, somebody oh, going he, in. Curtis uh -oh. going in the pit. Oh, so oh, Victor Curtis. Chouse must have lost some, some wang parts. We didn't see that happen. Perhaps he ran into the back of one of his fellow competitors. It's hurt NXR gifted here. He's now fallen behind and does not have a DRS partner to dance with. Novocaine's going to be under pressure from our boy, Spicy Nuggies. Spicy Nuggies. Spicy Nuggies. Spicy Nuggies. He's not the brother of Massive. No. I'm sure Massive wouldn't want me to uh, be including Spicy Nuggies in his family, although uh, he is a fan of Spicy Nuggies. Don't let me look, don't let me twist it. I just don't think Massive has any uh, crazy people in his family. I, don't wanna, I didn't want to... Well, do, uh, do you have any crazy people in your family, Massive? People who smash into people? I don't know. I don't keep in touch with a lot of my family. <laughs> Is that because they smash into people? Maybe. I don't know. Well, but yeah, I spicy and I, I'm we sorry. Were teammates years ago. Yeah. The and then you fell out, connection. Nico and Lewis style? Uh, you know what? It's been so long. I don't even know. I don't even know. I could see it. He wouldn't, he'd want to be the number one driver. Either way, Spicy Nuggie's in a fantastic position here in sixth place at the beginning of this race. Ooh, I need to get the spectator menu things on. I'm such a dummy! Detailed tires. We need to know what these tires are. Everybody on the softs and the med or the hards and the mediums. No one on the uh, softs, so perhaps we'll get a safety car later on. Spice things up a little bit. Otherwise, Novocaine and Spicy looking pretty good right now on those medium tires, but they're going to obviously be feeling a little bit of pain here very shortly. But the main story right now is Sketchable leading this race, which would have been somewhat surprising given the times we saw in qualifying. But Nickelodeon here is ready to mount an attack. Another reserve driver massive, another Bushwhacker, another Mark Martin, another Denny Hamlin coming into our series and trying to, uh, I mean, just sort of, you know, not actually live here, just stop by every once in a while, eat all of our food, bang our wife, and then leave. Mm -hmm. I can only imagine that's what Mark Martin was doing every re weekend at those bush races. Picking one particular bush driver and going into his trailer, eating his dinner, banging his wife, and then going and winning the race. We're getting second. Well, here we go. Again, at Nickelodeon with the DRS open. Not going to make the move. I wonder if he's content to sit behind... Sketchable here and see if Sketchable makes an error. Ooh, Sketchable. Ooh. Massive's making the, what, are we, what are you looking at, Massive? Uh, well, Spicy almost locked up into uh, Novocaine. Um, and he was able to avoid it, almost had to go down the escape road. He got passed by Junior Correa after that happens. But, um, yeah, Spicy's one guy to, to definitely keep your eye on this race because in my experience with him this is maybe his best track oh is th is that right i think so i didn't realize that oh i just got a text from my wife what did she say i can hear whatever you're watching well good put your headphones on <laughs> Tune it in. Twitch.tv slash Madison Millions. You hear it even better there. Woman? Put a woman at the end of it. So she really what? knows that you mean it. Huh? 
put a woman at the end of it. Woman? woman. So we have a, a lot of close racing here, Massive. Of course, this being a, a, a track that is notoriously difficult to pass on, it might not lead to any hot racing action, but we've got a couple of DRS trains. We've got one at the front, a little three-car battle. NXR Gifted is falling further behind without a DRS partner. Nova Kane and Junior Correa separated by a second and a half, just chilling up here. Spicy Nuggies. Spicy Nuggies, sorry. <laughs> he's <laughs> in seventh place on those medium tires, so he's going to start feeling the effects of those here pretty soon. Sweaty Randall. So this is where the rest of our DRS train begins behind Junior Correa. We've got, uh, I don't know, I'm not going to do the count, six or seven drivers here, including the Schmurs. Massive, this is not where you would expect to see the Schmurs in 12th place. As you uh, have you seen anything that would lead you to believe that he should be back here? Is there is there some problem? Have you witnessed him crashing or uh, burning or anything? No, not that I can recall. Uh, let's see. He qualified ninth. Had a loss of three positions. I love it when I can do quick math. That's about the best I can do, though. All right, don't ask me for, for much more than that. <laughs> I don't know. The big surprise here, though, is Starther's down by almost four seconds. I don't know what happened. Well, Massive, he's on the uh, hard tire. He's playing the long game, so those tires will come in. And when they do, all these medium runners better look out. Just pull over. Yeah, you should just get out of the way. I think that's actually the best thing to do. Your race isn't with Scarthers, uh, people on the medium tires. You'll just lose time trying to pass them. You'll hurt yourself in your own race. Just let him by. So we got Joban back there in 16th place. Probably not going to see much of him tonight. What has happened to Victor Chaus? As Massive said, he went into the pits to get a fresh new Wang. Well, you would assume he got a new Wang. Otherwise, he wouldn't have went in so early. So uh, without a safety car, he is going to have a really bad night. Yeah. Um, I know I said it before. Everybody's been so well behaved. Everybody's breaking when they should. Rotten bastards. <laughs> not what we want to see. I'll no. just see some some long distance lunges. Reach out and touch somebody. Yeah. In excess style or Depeche Mode or whoever sings that song. So, look, we now have a battle for the lead here, shaping up nicely because Nickelodeon is all over the rear end. Sketchable. It looks like Sketchable might be running a low wing configuration here because it looks like his straight line speed is really good. But Double R Lawrence sensing an opportunity, sends it down the inside, not going to have enough. And Nickelodeon is able to hold on to second position. As tempted as I am to, to switch to the front runners, we've got some some hot action in the in the middle of the pack here. One, two, three, four, five drivers. Starting with an old sweaty Randall. Well, actually, Junior Correa. Yeah, so Junior Correa was passed by Spicy Nuggies, and then Spicy Ooh. Nuggies has really put it on him here. Pulled a gap big time. You can see Junior Correa is sliding all over the place. Sweaty Randall senses an opportunity here. Goes around the outside, makes the move. Well done by Sweaty Randall. Junior Correa is sinking without trace. Everybody's red lights of fear is fla are flashing as well. Everyone is using up all their DRS, or ERS, excuse me. Oh, Senior Heat Gang, he's got a little bit left, as does TRL Drum. TRL Drum has his own race engineer. So that's pretty cool. I don't think anybody else has their own race engineer. No, uh, oh shit, we got ourselves a yellow, uh, Scars, is that you? Scarthers, it's Scarthers. So disaster has befallen Scarthers. Massive, continue on with what you're going to say with, I'm sure, a heavy heart. This is tough, tough one. Oh god, look at this drum! Uh-oh. Heat gang, or Schmurz, or heat gang. It is heat This is good. This is good for us. Good for you, the fans watching. Tires getting a little old, getting a little crusty. Marbles on the track. Everybody picking up, throwing them around. Even these, um, 
Even these hard tires look like they're kind of struggling already massive. Seeing a yeah. lot of sliding around right now. So we've got Novocaine in the race. Mm. Do we have Novocaine's mother? Who, who's, who's, the one who's, who's mother? It's Stormzy's girlfriend who's a mother of many children. That's right. It's Grinzio. Where's the man? I don't know. It's disappointing not to have him here. He's a very fast driver. He could. I thought he was going to be a uh, going to be challenging for uh, season X supremacy this season. I thought he was going to be part of the crew oh, going shit. forward, and unfortunately, he's not. Uh -oh. oh, massive making those noises. We have hot action at the front. What do I do? What do I do? It looks like sorry. Moldy Dragon sorry, and sorry, Chaos sorry. Corrupted are fighting right now. Is that what you're watching, yeah. Massive? Uh oh. Well, somebody. I, I don't. One of these three guys almost lost it at the exit of the last turn. And chaos almost took them out, but all is well. Yeah, as you saw on your screen there, H.E. Pennypacker is just shoving the moldy dragon through a couple of those corners. They keep it clean now for a couple of uh, corners. So well done, boys! And you can see up here, Junior Correa struggling, Senior Heat Gang struggling, Junior Correa struggling so badly after a pretty good qualifying performance. He has fallen down the order, and he is falling back in time right now to Sweaty Randall. Spicy Nuggies enjoying himself here in sixth place. Novocaine earlier mentioned, I'm sure his girlfriend is here watching, leading him through this race. Novo Novocaine, as we've discussed earlier, really oh, is Junior massive Correa again, making more noises. More people are falling down the field. Junior Correa, not a surprise, probably slid off the track. He was struggling so badly. He needs to get off those tires. Got to change him. Not working right now. As I was up. saying, uh, Novocaine, a husk of a man, and does everything his girlfriend oh tells God. him to do. So now we have three wide! Three What's wide! <laughs> what is what happening is, here? Is not end well. uh oh, no, oh no, that was no. inevitable! That was inevitable! Oh, no. I, Chaos look. Corrupted came out worse in that situation. There was a virtual safety car is going to be coming out. There was a lot of carbon fiber going all over the track, so a couple of the drivers who were just ahead of that have got a... Nice little advantage here, being able to get a cheap pit stop. Everyone at the front is not going to benefit from this, but Massive, what did you see? I saw three drivers going side by side doing silly things. Uh, uh, all right, look, I'll tell you exactly what I saw. I saw Chaos and another driver. I think it was, it was, I think it might have been Drum. And Moldy trying to put it out the middle he was like halfway back maybe even less he had no place in that battle and he was trying to force it <laughs> that was <laughs> great for us but, <coughs> man i'd be pissed if i was either of those two guys that were affected by that yeah that was um well i'm sure the stews will have something to say about it here uh after the race, but for now, we go back to the front. Massive, I'm struck by something, and I don't know if you uh, have taken a look at this, but the ERS left on Nickelodeon and Double R Lawrence is in the high 90s. So these two are just chilling behind Sketchable. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if Sketchable, obviously, he wouldn't know that from where he's sitting right now. Sketchable, if you're out there, if you're listening, we're trying to help you out now. The guys behind you are <laughs> lurking. I, I immediately think of, uh, what's his name? The little, the little Wiggum kid. Ralph Wiggum? <laughs> Ralph. I'm in danger. <laughs> That's a good impression. <laughs> so look at that. So Nickelodeon has his ERS off and on, off and on. He could make this movie, decides not to. Sketchable goes defensive. Ooh, that was very, very close. Nickelodeon, if he wanted to make the move, he could just make the move. I don't know why he's not just doing it. I guess for now he's content to sit back and chill. Let Sketchable lead this train, but he could certainly be in the lead if he wanted to. It seems that way. You know who's having a lonely race right now? Massive is NXR gifted. Poor one out for him. He's going to be by himself the entire race if we don't have a safety car. Yeah, fourth isn't a bad place to be, though, at Singapore. Especially not on with this field and the three drivers ahead of him. 
He might be a little unhappy to be this far behind Sketchable, but this Nickelodeon and Double R Lawrence, these two, these Johnny Come Latelys, they are uh, very, very formidable, to say the least. So it looks like, because of the antics of a couple of drivers in our giant DRS train, uh, that DRS train is now just falling apart. It's gone. Um, I think it was brought up earlier, but I checked the race director. It looks like Yang has a five-second penalty for corner cutting. And he claims in Discord it's because he was pushed off. Interesting. So that will obviously be going to the stewards. I... Since the heat, since Senior Heat Gang is typing during the race, I don't know how one would do that. Uh, maybe he can tell us who pushed him off and what sort of penalty he thinks they deserve. Well, let me see if I can do oh, it. Oh, here. Nickelodeon's oh. made the move, Massive. He's finally done it. He did it. He All finally right. did it. I'll switch my cams. Sketchy, he is He's not wanting to let it go. He is not wanting to let it go. I think he knows that he needs to probably be in the lead of this race to be in, in the best position. Now, obviously, that sounds relatively simple, but the That's thing is, is I, you know, I just, <laughs> I wonder if Sketchy's a little worried about if he can keep up with these two, if they really started to uh, stretch their legs out. If I was in Sketchy's position, that's what I would be worried about. Uh, while we're focused on these three guys, I would like to mention we just saw them, I think it was it last week that we were at Japan? Yes, Japan, yes, last week. Japan, and uh, Sketchable, he crossed the line second, thanks to a penalty for uh, Nickelodeon, no. but he ended up No, finishing. no, no, it was Patrick, it was Patrick Duffy. Patrick Duffy, uh, the formerly known as Patrick, Pat Duffy. Uh, oh, this is Pat Duffy? That's him. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what the hell's going on here? I don't know. Mid-season name changes. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, Massive. Can yeah. you please continue on? I had no idea that was Defy. Oh, oh look, we got, we got an overtake coming. Yes, we do. Double R Lawrence now going down the inside of Sketchable. Sketchable, he is fighting it. He is fighting it. That was I'm not sure this nice. is the best idea, though. That was nice from Lawrence. He, Sketchable ought to be grateful for that. Um, but those are the two guys I want to talk about. Sketchy across the line second. But he actually got it first, thanks to a penalty for Deffy. But stewards ruled in favor of Laurence. There was an incident where the two made contact, and, and Laurence spun in sector one, and Sketchy lost the win. Are, are you serious? Really? Because yeah. Because what I remember seeing, Massive, I thought that was a racing incident. That's what I recall as well. The stewards did not agree. Wow. Wow. That is, that is, wow. So, so Patrick Deffy was ultimately ruled the winner then, huh? That is correct. Wow. What a turn of events. So, Double R Lawrence now has made the move on Sketchable finally, but they those two have lost DRS, so that's going to be a problem. And Nickelodeon, the artist formerly known as Defy, now starting to do what I just warned about, stretching his legs at the front of this field a second over a second and a half gap right now. So, Double R Lawrence has got some work to do. Sketchable here is got someone to follow for the rest of this race. Interesting to see when these guys come in to make the pits. I guess that's really our only bit of drama left in this race. Otherwise, pending a penalty, Defy has got this locked up. And now I'm we take a, a look through the rest of the field. It's Gap City back here, Massive. Gap City. Yeah, uh... I'm not uh, crazy about following the front of the pack because you've usually got that covered. But, I mean, that's all that's going on right now. I mean, we got Chaos down here chasing old Jobin. A little, you know, a little something, a little something. 
Yeah, we got our eyes on that. I do appreciate Joban coming in to uh, substitute tonight. Who's he subbing for? Switchy? Yeah, the switchy fish, I believe. That's oh no, uh oh, massive things have just oh. got more interesting. Oh, defy I with it. the penalty, he couldn't help I himself. That's definitely his Achilles heel. Aside from shoving people off the track, <laughs> track limits warnings to lead to penalties. Heat gang with a five-second penalty <clears throat> for speeding in the pit lane. Immediately he... after, he's coming he's... in now, serving a five-second penalty already. <laughs> no. Oh, my. Oh, my. Well, uh, oh, shit. Now it's just a bunch of people pitting. Um, so, yeah, Heat Gang stays at five seconds. While we're at the midpoint and things have kind of gapped out here, should we bring up some cakes and pies, cakes and pies? <laughs> Yes, please. Let's let's do it. All right. Well, you start off this time. All right. Well, what have I had this week? I have had, um, well, I've had a, a ton of Oreos. I finished my giant box of Oreos that I got from Costco, which makes me sad because I'd actually really like to have an Oreo after this race is over. But um, today I had um, at work, uh, I gave I gave the some clever kid my corporate credit card, told him to go to the old, uh, the old Kroger's, pick up some, some, of his, some, of his, some of his finest meats and cheeses to uh, make me some burgers. And he said, yeah, I got that for you, and I'll, I'll do you one better. I'll bring you back something a little special with that. So he brought back a 12-pack of donuts. So I thought, well, this is interesting. I like some a donuts. A 12-pack? I didn't know donuts came yeah. in packs. Well, you know, a, a box of 12, a dozen, whatever you want to call it. I don't, I don't know what you, what, what you would call it, but um, anyway... So he brings that back, and um, he brings some bacon, some barbecue sauce, and he fixes me up a, 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 a burger, massive, with donuts as the buns, with barbecue mm. sauce and bacon and uh, a slice of cheese on that burger. What? Now, hang on. Are these glazed? Are you just, like, eating? Glazed donuts. So what he, what he did was he took the glazed donut, and he awful. cut that in half. So basically that made... Bun, the top and bottom bun for the burger, and then you can then you put the barbecue sauce on and the the, the bacon <clears throat> and uh, the cheese and the, uh, the whatever other fixings you want. That's all I had on it. So the barbecue has this nice sweetness. The bacon, of course, um, has the sweetness as well, going along with the sweetness of the donut. It was it was delightful. That sounds too sweet for for me. Yeah, it seems like I've stunned you into silence. You don't even know what to think about something like that, do you? You didn't even know something like that existed. I, I have heard of donuts been used for that, and I always wondered, is this a glazed donut? Are we getting our fingers all sugary and crusty with, with glaze? Well, no, see, so? because he, he flipped the donut so, the, so, the, so when you cut it in half, that inside uh -huh. part obviously isn't all sugary. So you make that the tops and bottom. And you put the sugary part oh. facing inward. Okay, okay. So it's ingenious, really. It takes care of all the problems that you just talked about. Now, is it like a Yet, like a, uh, uh, a Krispy Kreme donut where it's like super soft and you grab it and it just no, this was just this was a thicker a thicker donut. No, and actually, uh, if you were to buy a twelve pack of donuts from Kroger, it would be how would I say this? It, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be soft. It would have a bit of a hardness to it. Sometimes even almost of a, a crunchiness to them because they're just not they're just not fresh fresh like that. You know, you just can't trust them to be fresh. So it had actually a little bit of um, a little bit of uh, what would you call it? what would the word be look uh, solidity to it. it. Had some real structure to that donut, holding everything together due to the Kroger like nature of a uh, of a donut. Mm -hmm. oh, interesting. I'll remember that. I liked it. I thought it was great. I, I thought it was great. And then after I was done with that, I just ate a donut by itself. Of course you did. I would expect nothing less. And then at about 1.30, I had a mild, mild tummy ache. Mm. And that might have had something to do with the coffee that I then drank after that, a, du a Dunkin' Donuts coffee. And I had a bag of, I have a bag of Hershey Kiss hugs at my desk. 
that I just pound mercilessly and uh, gave myself a tummy ache. What's a hug? It's a you know a Hershey kiss, but it's a hug is it's uh it's white chocolate and regular chocolate mixed together. They hug each other. Mm -hmm. It's a confectionery delight. Yeah, you know, Hershey Kisses, nothing against them. But man, it's a whole lot of work just for that little piece of chocolate unwrapping that. You know what I mean? Like, Halloween comes around, and I throw some kisses in there, and I'm like, all right, yeah. Shit, I got to take some time to dig through those. That's, it's, <laughs> that's really putting you out, huh? Yeah. I mean, I would well, what What candy those. is worth your time to unwrap? What's your, what's your favorite candy? As far as, like, candies that take longer than usual to unwrap? Well, I... I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't really think of Virgin Kisses as being anything out of the ordinary, but I suppose no, no, no. if that's your criteria... <laughs> no, but, like, then you yes. know when... You know when you, like, you pull a little, uh, I don't know what you call that, little, um... Hershey's, uh, <laughs> white... banner <laughs> out of... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you pull that out, flag. and then you know you kind of have to have a little bit of fingernail to like really pull it off of the of the wrapper off of the the Hershey Kiss. Am oh, I talking shit. to Larry David right now? I mean, what, out. This is ridiculous. Out. Oh my God! Defy is dead. Defy is what dead. We're about to pass his dead body right now. Look, as we pass him on the track, you saw tires hanging off his car. Oh my god, he just ran straight into the wall, it looks like. And he's he's gone off the track. We don't even have a safety car. Terminal oh my damage. god, and now Sweaty Randall has run into the wall. Bits of carbon fiber showering the track, so Sweaty Randall now has problems. But we have to talk about the main story here. Defy, not even giving the given the dignity of a safety car, he's out of the race, Massive. Wow. Incredible. Uh, I, look, we were talking about candy, and maybe we should have been paying more attention to Defy, but there's no reason to think that he was just going to crash like that. Yeah, that was uh, totally unexpected. We're just over here chatting along. Gracious. Uh, yeah, we're just two guys, you know, just sitting around. You know, look. I gotta finish my thought though. I mean, I've got some sausage yeah. fingers, so Hershey Kisses can be a little <laughs> bit of a problem. You know what I mean? <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Wait, how did how did Laurence get three seconds behind Sketchy? I I don't know. Maybe it had something to do with perhaps he was hung up in the pits for so. Oh, I know exactly why. They undercut. So Sketchy and Defy went in a lap earlier than Double R and. It looks like the undercut was that powerful. Oh, wow, okay. All right. Curtis! So this actually does Victor. put something pretty... Uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead, please. Go ahead. Shows that Curtis left. And he's on PC. I, I don't... How do we invite him? We invite him he back. is on a PC, yeah. Curtis is on a PC. Victor Chouse. Yeah, you're right. He is uh, ghosting right now as everyone is passing through his, his body. I don't know if we want to ghost in this league, Massa. Let's, let's, let's not be following him around. No. I was going to try and invite him back. I don't I don't know how to do that. I don't think you can. He's a ghost. Well, he's a PC. PC-er. Um, so I'm, I'm looking through the field here, Massive. Obviously, a sketchable... Uh, Victor Chouse has oh, found his oh, way back oh, to us. Oh. Sketchable Sorry. in the lead. What, what are you... What's going on back here? Uh, Schmurz over here with that that lunge I was talking about. We need more of. Sketchy's at what, what's going on? The sketchable has left the session now. I don't see everybody else leaving. I don't see any, anything in the lobby right now. Shit. Oh, no, we have three wide. Uh-oh, and it clearly qu quickly goes down to two wide. Excuse me. So we have the two Aston Martins facing off with Senior Heat Gang. Senior Heat Gang, of course, hilariously has five seconds in penalties. Jim Cab is in the chat. He's confused right now. He does not understand what's going on. Sketchable, I don't know if he's disconnected or, or what. I sent him an invite. So hopefully we get him back soon. Because Curtis um, came back pretty quickly. 
This is terrible news, though, Massive. This is Sketchable had a three-second lead. He had everything going in his favor, and now he has nothing. So Sketchy's ghost has been overtaken. Uh, and I sent him an invite, but he has not accepted. I guess. You know, Massive, I, last night in our race, I disconnected. My UPS backup that all my things are plugged into just turned itself off. Perhaps something like that has happened to Sketchable, where he just has complete system meltdown. Hmm. Uh, well, look, I'm not even going to pretend otherwise. Um, but Laurence and Sketchable, I mean, we see him at the front all the time, so I'm not really too crazy about either of them being up front. But if they're going to be up front, I at least want to see a good battle. So I, I hate to see Sketchy not in here for that. Yeah, it was going to be fun because, you know, Double R Lawrence, I think, is, even Sketchy would agree, has a little bit of pace on him. And he was going to have to claw that gap back over the course of the next, you know, 11, 12 laps. Sketchable now back with us, so that's good. Three seconds. So, and then he was going to have to pass Sketchable. So we were going to have a battle for the win no matter what, and now we've been robbed of that. So now we're going to have to find other ways to entertain ourselves. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, sh you know what? It w would be a really great topic. We kind of mentioned it earlier. Halloween candies. Oh, shit. Scarthurst is out. Oh, no. Scarthurst. Safety car, though, massive. Safety car. Oh, this has thrown the right. race into chaos. I think everyone's going to come in for a fresh set of tires, don't you? This is going to bring everyone together and some very important decisions need to, be, need to be made. Chaos corrupted the safety car coming out at the perfect time for him, although he'll have to follow uh, Delta as he gets around the track. So Chaos corrupted, he is the first one to go in and he is putting on the soft tires. Let's see if everyone follows suit. Massive, we're going to come back to that Halloween candy chat in just a second. Don't think we're not going to finish our candy talk. I fucking love candy. But we have a lot of pit stops right now. Our front two drivers did not get a chance to pit, but everyone is following a delta. So no advantage will be gained here. And what do you think, Massive? Do you think our two leaders come in? They're on pretty fresh mediums. And I bet oh, yeah. you they're not worried about the pace of those behind them. No, they're definitely coming in. They've got a big enough gap. Um, they're not going to lose position, and they're going to go true, on fresh true. tires. Oh, you're so wise, Massive. All right, well, so now that uh, we're waiting for everybody to catch up to the safety car and come into the pits, this is going to be a while. Why don't you go ahead and finish your Halloween candy talk? Sure, Halloween candy talk. Um, yeah. What would you say is your number one least favorite <laughs> Halloween candy? And, you know, don't say something stupid that you've never received. Tell me something that you would see, you know, at a few houses, and every time somebody dropped it in your little plastic pumpkin you were like god damn it. well I, I only talk about things that i can tolerate that i don't like that you know because like peanut butter for example i hate peanut butter but i so i wouldn't say a snickers because that's not fair because i don't i'm not going to like it no matter what the, the first thing that comes to mind when you ask me that question is candy corn i find it just intolerable oh I like but like if, but i could eat it you know what i mean like it's not something that i find like, it's not going to make me throw up. It's not like eating a piece of cat poop. It's not repulsive. Like that. No, it's not. I just not. It's just not something I really like very much. It's like when you're done with your ha Halloween candy, and that's all that's left. You're like, all right, well, I got to eat something. Yeah. And eventually you do eat it, but through gritted teeth. Heat gang served his five-second penalty. So that's something. So now he's back in the uh, back in the race here. He's got that final point, paying position, and doesn't have to worry about a penalty anymore. And Chaos corrupted. He's going to be kicking himself that he has that penalty. He could have been in for a podium here, but I think that's going to be a big problem. That penalty. So you're saying candy corn? You eat it, but you don't really like it. So there's not right. something you would you would receive that you're like, I ain't even touching that. I'm I'm well, like it. I said, anything with peanut butter would be the, the main thing for me. I, actually, I'll tell you, Twizzlers, I think, are just useless. I don't like those at all. Um, now, hang on. You're making you... me think of bad candy right now, so, that, so I don't get hungry. Do 
if you remember in the mid 90s it was probably like 97 ish when they had those starburst twizzlers mm, yeah those were awesome i mean they were a better flavor of course but i mean you know i did that's i, I don't like the texture and the of, you know just the 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 structural foundation of a Twizzler, I just find it somewhat disgusting. A Starburst, on the other hand, oh, God, I love Starburst so much. What, what flavor? Well, I mean, in the normal pack, I would always go for orange. Orange would be my number one, pink number two. Uh, orange. Probably yellow number three and red number four. Fucking weird, though. I love an orange candy. But pink is the best. They even made that. I don't know if they still do, but remember they had the like the packs where it was pinks and reds only. Yes, it's called a flavor reds. Yeah, that was awesome. That was or a great idea reds. on their part. I, and and then, I've bought it before, and I've enjoyed it immensely. It is good. But I, I also like the tropical star starbursts as well. If they ever, uh, if you ever run across those, I always buy those. Yes. Um. So no peanut butter. So anybody gives you like a butter finger, you're not eating it. Now I'm out. I'm out. I like mm. regular chocolate and nougat and caramel. Uh, I think 100 Grand Bar is probably my favorite candy bar, followed closely by a Milky Way. Uh, <laughs> the lady at work, some lady at work, the account lady, she fills the candy basket every Monday with all kinds of sweet candy. And I go in there immediately after I see her walk out, and I pocket every single one of the mini Milky Ways that she's put in there. You wait till she leaves. <laughs> yeah. So at 8, 8 o'clock on a Monday morning, I have got my weekly supply of Milky Ways. And then I give myself tummy aches throughout the week as I sit there and I eat tons of candy. I like to imagine that you come in there with a giant like mug of coffee. You're like, hey, how are you doing, guys? But there's nothing actually in the mug. It's empty. Then you just throw a bunch of those Milky Ways into the mug. <laughs> that would be such a good idea. Well, while we're waiting for the safety car to come in, let me tell you my least favorite Halloween candies. You ready? And I know you know about these. And I know you have to hate them because you don't like peanut butter. You remember those orange and black wrapped? Yes. Oh, those what were is that fucking, even supposed to be? Those were the fucking worst. What was that? Like, candy that didn't have a name, on, you know, on the label? You you have to be suspicious of that. Yeah, and it was always old ladies, too. Like, they think you're doing a, yeah. they're doing you a favor, like, hey, check these out. And I'm like, yeah, I've seen them, bitch, and they suck every time. <laughs> I don't know where you even buy them. I've never seen those for sale. It must be That's at true. some That's a old lady point. store. That's a great point. What is an old lady store? Like J.C. Penney? Yeah, Pottery Barn. Pottery Barn. Oh, you have another lap. Well, while we have another lap here, Massive, let's actually talk about the race. We're going to have six uh, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 30. We're going to have six racing laps when the safety car comes in. Sketchable has a chance to atone for the mistake of his video game system. But he's going to have to do so against probably the quickest driver the series has ever seen in Double R Lawrence. What do you think is going to happen here, Massive? All I'm saying is chaos has nothing to lose. Three <laughs> seconds of penalties. I can send it. But so uh, let's talk about chaos corrupted for a second. Do you think that he will have enough tires to hold off the chasing pack behind him? Hold him off? No, but maybe lead an attack. Yeah. Those tires are good for four turns, and then they're 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 done. You know it, what's unfortunate here, Massive, is that Scarther's DNF'd. This would have been his time to attack. You know he likes to lie and wait throughout the rest of a of a Grand Prix, and then 
he waits till the very end, those final three or four laps, and vaults himself up into championship point contention. I'm going to take a look real quick at the standings. Right now, Olerance is leading by 35 points. Wow. 35 of a 12 race season, and this is round number six. So still a lot of races left, still a lot of points on the table. A 35-point gap at this point, not a big deal, I don't think. Well, it's a big enough gap that Sketchable needs to uh, make sure it doesn't get any bigger tonight. As we go green, Sketchable trying to get a good jump behind Double R Lawrence and for the most part has done exactly that, only a couple tenths behind. But it's not about these first couple of corners, it's about the next couple of Sweet. laps to make sure he stays in DRS range. It looks like we have people wobbling and fighting all over the place down here throughout the grid. We've got medium runners, we've got soft runners, we've got tire differences everywhere we've got fast drivers and slow drivers all mixed up spicy nuggies he's a fast driver he's in sixth place behind novocaine he's a fast driver behind nxr gifted we know he's a fast driver and he is going to be all up in the business heat of gang. chaos corrupted senior heat gang with another penalty he is having a turbulent evening to say the least Ooh, shit. as chaos oh. corrupted oh, oh chaos corrupted is running to the wall so can he stay in third place the answer is no, he's not no. going to stay in any place. He's lost part of his front wing. He's going to have to pit, surely. Surely he's going to have to pit. Massive, did you, you see four that? Four turns. You were right. You were right. Yeah, <laughs> Boy, that was an incredible prediction on your part. How did you know that? I, nobody chooses the softs on this track. No shit. Heat gang with the smooth overtake. Oh, Moldy, he doesn't want to give it up. Oh, no, he doesn't. So Moldy's oh. hanging it down the inside. Pushes Senior E Gang off the track. I bet Senior oh, E Gang's going to get more penalties. He's going to be so angry. Oh, no. Chaos Corrupted to come back on the track because he tried to go into the pits. I think he ghosted. I think he ghosted. I think everyone's okay. But he almost killed three or four drivers there with some careless, careless entry into the pit activities there. That was not ideal from Chaos Corrupted. Look, get it together, no, my son. I know this is an unpopular opinion, but if ghosting had been off, oh man, we would have had some <laughs> entertainment on our hands. I know, I know. I think I do prefer ghosting off it, it or ghosting on. Actually, I think it's better for the the race. But I can I can see the argument of those who like it on, and you're right. We would have had a spectacular, hilarious crash a second ago, and we were denied that. <laughs> I don't know if I'd go so far as to say hilarious. Well, hilarious for us. <laughs> We're just laughing at people dying on track. It's not like these are real people. I mean, they're obviously real people playing the game, and I know they're very sad. But, you know, <laughs> otherwise it's hilarious. So we are now a lap and a half into this little mini stint here, this little sprint to the finish. And Sketchable so far has done a pretty decent job. Double R Lawrence has expended a fair amount of ERS in his attempt to stretch out the gap here to more than a second. <clears throat> Sketchable has used just a little bit more, but he's got enough left in the tank. It looks like he's going to have it massive. It looks like he has done just enough to stay in DRS range. He's going to have himself a chance. Oh, oh, Drum almost lost it. And he got rear-ended by Victor because of it. So we've got some drama back here at the back of the field. Of course, you can follow along with Massive Noogies on that Twitch channel. Massive Noogies, let the viewers know what that is again. You don't have much time, but if you do, twitch.tv slash Massive Noogies. Or <laughs> I three, I love three the way half. you say that. <laughs> three oh God. At the end, oh you sort of shit. draw that out, Junior that Massive Correa. Noogies. Uh-oh, oh. someone's dead. Someone's dead. Massive says Junior Correa. He's got big problems. Big problems. Uh-oh. Yep, he's definitely missing part of his front wing. He was wiggling around there. He was ghosting. What happened to him, Massive? He's retired from the session. He's retired on track. We cannot have that TRL drum. We cannot have that. So, yeah, I didn't mean to cut you off there. We had uh, the, two, the two teammates, the two Williams drivers. And next thing I saw, Junior had 
spun around into the wall. That was that was his wing. I don't know what happened to Drum. Maybe maybe they can give us some insight into the chat. Yeah, he's a chatty fellow. He might let us know. Oh shit! Look at Lawrence. He's stretched out his gap. He has indeed stretched out that gap. So Double R Lawrence is not playing along and giving us hot racing action that we desire at the end of the race. So we're going to have to settle oh. for some... Uh-oh, looks like somebody else has crashed now. Who is that? That's Junior. That again. is Junior Correa. He's having a bit of a nightmare right now. That's the final time we're going to see him on screen tonight. Let's get back up to the front of the field and find ourselves some hot racing action. So Novocaine, massive. I think, I think this is a little unexpected here, hanging with NXR Gifted. He could find himself on the podium. Yeah, we, we were thinking early that uh, old Deffy had it won, and then he didn't. And so gifted it. He did not have it won. He blew it. He ruined he it. He did. He blew it. Junior's out. Yep, so Junior has driven to the pits and self-immolated, done the right thing. He is now out of the race. Not going to be bothering anybody. Not going to do it. And our, looks like our best battle is going to be for this final Pogen position between NXR Gifted and Novocaine. Yeah. So what has Novocaine's girlfriend got, got up her sleeve in these final few laps? So no points at all tonight for Williams and Alpha Tauri. Both teams completely off, off the grid, wiped off. Shocking performance from those teams tonight. Just shocking. At like least they don't have 10-second pit stops like Alfa Romeo do in real life. That is crazy. Kick Sauber, whatever you want to call them. Otherwise, they're terrible teams. Bad race tonight for Williams and Alfa Tauri. Bad, bad race. Two laps left as we watch Novocaine fighting tooth and nail here with NXR Gifted. Two He's laps. He's got 27% ERS left. I wonder when his girlfriend's going to tell him to uh, make the move. Make the move. Two laps is just enough time for two claps. Let's see someone get rear-ended. <laughs> so we have this battle for the final Poji position. We also have a battle for fifth place between... Uh-oh, Chaos. Uh Chaos Corrupted. He is now out of the race. Uh, we have a battle between Spicy Nuggies and Sweaty Randall for fifth place. This would represent Spicy Nuggies' best race of the season so far and real progress for him in this league. So we'll keep an eye on that, but Novocaine has a... He's got a bead on NXR Gifted. He is locked in. Both struggling oh, with that the... ERS, but if I had to make a guess, I would say NXR has probably got this covered. Oh, shit. Chaos's what? car, just looking at the mini-map, is back on track from the pit. Uh-oh. Maybe something hilarious is going to happen. He retired in the pit and everything, so. Oh, it's just sitting on track right now. Fortunately, it's ghosted. <laughs> See, that's one of the reasons you need to have ghosting on. Because of stuff like that. As Double R Lawrence would have ran smack into it and ruined his race. So, reluctantly massive, I think we're going to have to give Double R Lawrence some credit here. He is, um, he's just taken this series by the throat, hasn't he? Um, I will give credit when credit is due, but let's not forget he got that position while Sketchy was disconnected. True, true. But to his credit, he has extended his lead, but he might not be there had it not been for that ghosted car. Oh, man. Ultimately, not a bad race tonight, Massive. Singapore, not one of my favorite tracks. Certainly not one of my favorite tracks to watch. But the drivers have done their very, very best to give us the hot racing action we crave so badly on a Friday night. Well done to our 17 drivers. And I got also, Massive, we got to say a big shout-out to those 17 drivers for showing up. That's a, that's a very solid grid. 17 drivers and one engineer. 
That's right. As Double R Lawrence crosses the line, you hear those fireworks going off in the background, sounding like popcorn. Mm. Popcorn. Maybe I'll have some popcorn. Double R Lawrence wins the Singapore Grand Prix. Sketchable comes home in second place. And NX are gifted fresh off a week at Disney. <laughs> is in third with that final podium position. And it looks like Novocaine has got himself an interview on the podium. Perhaps we can get Novocaine's girlfriend on the blower since we know that she has the brains behind that operation. We don't really want to talk to Novocaine. We want to talk to his girlfriend. But we'll see what happens when we talk to them on the podium. For now, congratulations to Double R Lawrence. Another victory here on Friday Night Lights. Driver of the day was Moldy Dragon, although I do know of two drivers that would dispute that. Who who are those two drivers? Oh, yeah, the two that they got in a big wreck with. You know, Massive, we should have paid more attention to the uh, top ten and who was occupying it. I just looked in the Discord. Joban got himself a point. That deserves a massive congratulations. So well done to Joban and Spicy Nuggies finishing in fifth place, as we did mention. So that's a big result for him as well. Sweaty Randall, decent result in seventh place. Seat Your Heat Gang overcomes a ton of hilarious problems and ends up in ninth in Joban. Tenth place, that is a hell of a performance from him. Good for you, Joban, on a reserve performance. So let's go ahead and get our podium drivers in here to our party. We got Sketchable. We got NXR Gifted. And we're going to have Novocaine. Alrighty, so we've got two of our three drivers here. Let's give Novocaine a second to join our party. Novocaine, you've got about 10 seconds oh, before we move on without you. Oh, I'm here. Novocaine is here now. All right, brilliant. All right, gentlemen, gentlemen, as always, please make sure your T's are crossed, your lowercase j's are dotted, and all of your boxes are checked so the audience can hear you. Let's start out with tonight's second-place driver, Sketchable. Oh, dear. In the middle of that race, it ultimately didn't matter, but in the middle of that race, you, were ha you had a three-second lead, sitting pretty, and then you disconnected. What the hell happened? Disconnect. Uh, it's, uh, just that's a normal day. disconnect, so, huh? Yeah, I mean, at this point, I'm ha I would be happy with a P2, but now it's just getting frustrating. Well, a P2, in the end, is actually a pretty good result. When you were battling up there with um, Defy and uh, Double R Lawrence, would you have taken a P2 at that moment, or did you think you had a real chance at the win? I had a real chance once I came out three seconds ahead. I mean, yeah, pace, did, yeah. pace felt good. Car felt good. Everything felt great. I was keeping the gap consistent, and then something has to ruin me eventually, and uh, the game told me, yeah, you're not winning this race. Well, you were feeling good. I was feeling good. I was having these good feelings inside that you were going to win the race. Ultimately, it wasn't to be, but either way, the second place is nothing to sneeze at. Congratulations on your second place, Sketchable, and... Thank you for joining us, and I'm sure we'll talk to you next week. We always talk to you. We'll talk to you next week. Yeah, sure we yeah let's see. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so Sketchable there with second place. Now we move on to our third place driver. We haven't talked to him in a while. Fresh off a week at Disney, it's NXR Gifted. NXR <laughs> Gifted, welcome back, and welcome back to the podium. We're back on the podium, a, yes. Yeah, that was a, a lonely drive there for you until the safety car. That saved you. Um, talk us through your race. Yeah, I would say it was a no man's land race until the, the pit stop but after that pit stop it was a little bit chaotic getting some overtakes done had some pretty nice moves and then uh got the drum and then we had some uh some wheel banging that i did not agree with but yeah and i realized on like lap three i'm pretty sure i had my tire pressures a little bit too high so i was uh i was redlining pretty much the whole way through so you uh, tire manage your way through that race to ultimately finish in third place. You you mentioned uh, TRL drum. You guys had some wheel banging. Is there anything that you'd like to say to him? Anything you want him to hear? I'd like to say, Mr. Daniel Kefir, you can uh, screw off. Mmm, spicy. I'd like to hear that from 
NXR Gifted. And nice to see you back on the podium. Good to talk to you, NXR. We've missed you. We haven't talked to you in a while. Yeah. Thanks for joining us here tonight, and congratulations on your third place finish. Nice to earn a podium. <laughs> All right, so now we move on to our fourth place driver, Novocaine. Novocaine, are you there? I am here, indeed. Uh, Novocaine, it's occurred to me and Massive that really you have nothing to do with the success you have in the car. It really is all up to your girlfriend. <laughs> I'm sure she's there with you now. We were wondering, can we can we talk to her instead of you? Uh, I have, I, you know, I asked her about this and she said, no, she wouldn't. She wouldn't. She doesn't want to talk. Ah, I see. I understand. Sometimes the person behind the curtain doesn't want to be, doesn't want to be exposed to the uh, greater <laughs> world. Sort of like the uh, Wizard of Oz is sort of what, what I'm thinking here, but... All right. Well, fair enough. Novocaine's girlfriend, if you're out there, if you're listening, we respect your decision not to join us, but uh, we, we hate to hear that. We wanted to talk to you. I guess we'll deal with Novocaine. I don't even know what to ask you because you have nothing to do with the success that you have. Um, I don't know. What did she tell you to do? Talk us through that. So uh, she uh, she said start on the mediums, so I started on the mediums. Uh, it was a bit interesting in turn one. I kind of panicked, and she gave me a smack on the head and said, don't do that again. So... Uh, yeah, uh, I definitely locked in for the rest of the race. I almost got gifted at the end, but I made a mistake on the penultimate lap. That unfortunate, but yeah, it was fun. It was a fun race. Shout out to Spicy Nuggies. Yes, indeed. Shout out to Spicy Nuggies. Well, I hope you uh, and had shout a great time here sorry. tonight. Of course, yeah, obviously. I think yeah. goes without saying. Uh, I hope uh, I hope you had a good time tonight, Novocaine, and I hope your girlfriend is proud of your performance. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you, Donut, and thank you to Donut, and and of course, Massive. Indeed. Massive, speaking of, before we leave Massive, I like to ask you every week if there's some wisdom you'd like to impart on us, some nuggets of wisdom. Is there anything you'd like to tell us before we go? Yeah, it's uh, we're, we're nowhere near it, but once Halloween comes around, none of that orange and black candy. <laughs> Reese's Pieces are fine, but the individually wrapped, you know, you know what they are. Don't hand those out. Be a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, so that'll do it from us here this evening. Thank you to our Podium drivers for joining us. Thanks to all of our drivers for coming tonight. Thanks to everyone for coming to watch the stream, and thanks for those who come back to watch it later. We will be back next week. I could have looked at the calendar, but I just can't be fucked, so we'll be back at some mystery track. Until then, I am your affable host, Donut Puncher 272 saying good night. <laughs>